Okay, today is November 24th, just before Thanksgiving 2020. And before you, I have an adjustable Tesla coil it's with a spark gap. And it works from anywhere between 5 to 12 volts DC. And it is adjustable for the amount of battery power you put onto it. So I'm going to make a quick test with it right now. We're going to keep the camera away because it's high voltage. I'm holding the camera and doing this at the same time. So. I've got a Lawton 555 adjustable timer. Got using an IRFP 260N, and you don't want this to get hot, so you got to watch your adjustments here. And this wire here, you can barely see it. I don't know if you see it right here. You can see the arc coming off of that too, but I got it connected to a CFL just to show that it ignites. This coil is about 400 turns at about, uh, it's about an inch in diameter. And this has got a TV high voltage transformer coming off the adjustable timer. It's a, actually, it's a pulse width generator. It's turning pulses through there and you can see the spark gap. That's also adjustable. I got two screws on it. See if I can turn this without it. And this thing is pretty handy because I got it hooked up to a solar charger. What this does, it ionizes the air also and takes away bacteria and viruses. So I let it run once in a while. And outside there, I have a solar cell coming in. It's a little solar charger here circuit. And that is during the nighttime, it runs the lamp. During the daytime, it shuts off. And charges the battery pack. So uh, I like this circuit. It's pretty useful. Pretty neat. It's I'm not going to say it's easy to build, but it's a spark gap adjustable Tesla coil. I got a little micro switch here, but I got it on all the time. I just jump it across it. But you could set that switch at any time. I don't want to get a shot because I'll throw, throw my camera up in the air. But this is a pretty neat little project here. Uh, I like it because of its health benefits. And a little light it gives off, like a night light, so it has a dual purpose. It also generates from 3 to 23 kilohertz. Uh, so you got to get it up high enough to get a good spark gap going at a high voltage here. So if you make it and decide to do it, the Lawton 555 timer is online, and if you look on my Foam Max More channel, you, you'll see I have it in other circuits, and actually it's um, used in multiple circuits, and multiple usages. So that's all I want to say. Um, I've been off the internet for a while. I'm doing some back burner stuff, and testing and verifying it. And still looking for that uh, elusive greater than one <laughs> alternate energy power from radiant energy. I'm still working on those projects, and maybe in the future I'll have some more some more of these put online. So that's all for now. Signing out.